El Paso, Texas in high style. The 1987 Miss Teen USA pageant with Michael Young, Tracy Scoggin, the Dallas Cowboy cheerleader, the reigning Miss Teen USA, Allison Brown, the 51 candidates for the title of Miss Teen USA 1987. Contestants in the parade of states, beginning with Miss Alabama. Just 
currently starring in the hit series, The Colby's, Tracy Scoggins. And our host, television actor and MC, Michael Young. So you're terrific. It's gonna be a hot time tonight. We're here for the fifth annual Miss Teen USA pageant and the selection of the teenager who will join Miss Universe and Miss USA to make up the triple crown of beauty. But before we do that, there is someone very special that I'd like for you to meet. I'm the uh, son of an Air Force officer and I grew up in all sorts of different places around this country and the world, including Texas, but... I gotta watch that Texas word. But the beautiful lady who is our hostess tonight was not only born in Texas, she's a fifth generation Texan. Please welcome the lovely star of the Colbys, Tracy Scoggins. Hello. Good evening, Michael. That is some reception you just got, huh? These are my people. Texas, yeah. <laughs> <Woo! laughs> we are all feeling a little Texan tonight, I guess. Well, don't you look dashing tonight, Michael? Well, thank you very much. Right down to your uh, shiny black Texas cowboy boots. <laughs> <laughs> Did you say black cowboy boots, folks? I want you to see these cowboy boots. Woo! <laughs> Those boots are made for walking or dancing or hosting or something. Yeah, but do you like them? Are they neat? I like them, and I like everything about this evening. It's exciting. Yes, it is. We're going to watch a young girl's come true, and we get to guess which one it'll be. Yeah, you bet. And to help you judges at home with your guesses, we're going to give you another chance right now to see our 51 contestants in a specially taped swimsuit fashion show. Now, against some of the beautiful and outstanding backgrounds of the El Paso area, our teenagers were busy being teenagers while they were modeling swimsuits by Catalina Juniors. The numbers you'll see on your screens at home during the fashion show represent the score that each young lady received in our preliminary competition. Michael will now show us and tell us about the beautiful combination of teens and Texas. Mm -hmm. On the shores of this river, the Rio Grande, 
conquistadors and cowboys, gunfighters and lawmen have made history and created legends. Now we join some young ladies who hope to make a different kind of history in Texas tonight, beginning with Miss Rhode Island, Ray Ann Johnson. And here's Kimberly Edwards, Miss Florida. This is Casey Whizaker, Miss Oregon. And from the land of the Razorbacks, we greet Miss Arkansas, Paige Ann Yandel. And she's followed by this flower from the Garden State, Tara Eldridge, Miss New Jersey. Now it's time to head back to the Hacienda, the Popol House, and back in history to a time and place still honored in the Southwest, where once mail came by Pony Express and people arrived by stagecoach. It's here that their horses get to rest while the contestants try a variety of sports activities. Of course, those who prefer relaxing find they might get their minds changed. Learning that are Miss Alabama, Elizabeth Ann Woodman, and Jan Hoyer, who's Miss Iowa. Across an ocean and through two wickets comes Miss Hawaii, Leslie Ann Lum. And putting her foot down is Miss Louisiana, Bobby Brown. And rushing to the game with a quick stop for our photographer is Christy Lynn Addis, Miss Mississippi. And you can call the game table tennis or ping pong, but you call this lovely teenager in the jungle print tank suit, Miss Kentucky, Tracy Marcy. Her opponent, Miss Pennsylvania, Tracy Reed, looks at the camera instead of the ball. The game is horseshoes, the suit is moonshine sparkle, and Miss Alaska is Lauren Strong. Now this young lady's not a ringer, but that is for Miss Vermont, Christy Beltrami. We move from El Paso's rural outskirts to downtown in the Civic Plaza and jogger Renee Rebstock, Miss Maryland. Whether it's riding the range on a stallion or touring the plaza on a skateboard like Tiffany DeMille, Miss Utah, our ladies are ready. It's written where there are swimsuits, there must be beach balls. So there's Miss North Dakota, Dana Decker, and Cheryl Lee Cullop, Miss West Virginia. Looking sweet upon the seats of their bicycle built for two, and both wearing shimmering pastel suits, are Miss Washington, Jonna Sainsbury, and Raylynn Kaufman, Miss Oklahoma. In the midst of the rugged beauty of the dry West Texas countryside, we're surprised by a magnificent oasis, Mountain Shadow Lakes, where 105 acres of shimmering water extend some quickly accepted invitations. First, some water skiing for Miss California, Angie Ayler, and from the land of 10,000 lakes, Miss Minnesota, Karen Hargrove. Another water skier splashes a couple of New Englanders as they sun themselves on a raft. Miss Massachusetts, Kristen Mastriani, and Donna Stevenson is Miss Maine. Rubber balls and waterfalls for Miss New Mexico, Samantha Romero Owen, and Kim Roberts, who is Miss Wyoming, and then on to Elena Hall, who is Miss Michigan. Now taking full advantage of this waterfall is Miss North Carolina, Peggy Blackwell, and in a silver star suit from the Lone Star State is Miss Texas, Rochelle Kessling. Making West Texas look like the South Seas is Miss Ohio, Christy Hoyt. And on the shore, skipping rope is the choice of Miss Tennessee, Shannon Lynn Castle. And coming from a place famous for fancy footwork, Miss District of Columbia, Nicole Bobbin. This is obviously not her first experience with a jump rope for Miss Wisconsin, Barbara Nelson. Just as bicycles, I'm sure, had to be part of growing up for Miss Georgia, Hope Allen. And, of course, in her bright floral print, Miss Arizona, Julie Hodges. But the water sports seem to be the big attraction for our contestants, and you sense their surprise as well as their enjoyment in finding them here. We find Miss Nevada, Terry Yvonne Broca, and Miss Montana, Andrea Madsen. As well as this young lady in a Bengal tiger print, Michelle Kalinsky, who is Miss New York. Leg power makes these pedal boats go for Camille Varlin, Miss South Dakota, and Miss Indiana, Terry Renee Solomon, and the rest of this traffic jam. But others let the breeze supply the power, like sailboaters Susan Weichel, Miss Nebraska, 
and Miss Idaho, Lou Anne Rallier, who doesn't really bear down on splashing the cameraman. As you'll see featured on tonight's telecast, our young people are really into keeping fit. It's aerobics for some, like Miss South Carolina, Carol Carver. Now practicing her exercise and her relaxing is Miss Virginia, Christy Pierce. And in her monokini with a racing back, Miss New Hampshire, Kara Darris. Others seem to flip for acrobatics, like Miss Missouri, Sherry Gardner. And Christy Griffin, Miss Delaware. Meanwhile, there are those who combine working out with fun on the trampoline, like Danielle Reese, Miss Illinois. The vitality of our young people is demonstrated by Miss Colorado, Nikki Ann Selmo. No question about the fitness of Stephanie Resnick, Miss Kansas. Nor of this contestant, chosen by her peers, is Miss Amity at this year's pageant, Allison Barbo Diorio, Miss Connecticut. The friendly and progressive city of El Paso merges with the majesty of the mountains to form a background as our ladies gather in Tom Lee Park at a monument marking the end of the Rocky Mountain chain to send a greeting to our host city and to you from the 1987 Miss Teen USA pageant.